everyone. I'm Ryan Frago. Um, I'm a developer for iTrack. I've been with the company for a little over nine years now, uh, working on the iTrack portal and, and now on the mobile apps. Okay, so today we're going to show you our current mobile offering. Um, go for our yeah, mobile just, roadmap. Uh, minimize that uh, small little box in the right hand corner. Thank you. Go over our roadmap, and then Ryan will uh, show you the, the app. So for our current mobile application, um, it works connected or disconnected. It's really uh, geared towards field users, and it's compatible with uh, – there's native apps for iOS, Windows, and Android. Um, the current capabilities are uh, corrective actions, incidents, inspections, uh, risk assessments. Procedures, procedure competencies, and there's even a kiosk um, mode for multi-users. So our app right now is, we, is a single app, kind of has everything, including the kitchen sink in it. So for our new apps, we thought we'd break it down into smaller, uh, smaller apps. So our first one is our iTrack training app, and this is brand new. Um, so you can you'll be able to do certificates, which we call also call training records. Um, it'll include Azure AD authentication instead of the username and PIN that we have in our current app. Um, there'll be also a new mobile API, which you'll be able to leverage if you want to create your own apps. And then I'll also have alerts. Um, phase two, we will add uh, exams to the app, um, training tasks, and training documents. And then our second app will be our new forms app, which will break out the corrective actions, the form entry, like inspections, risks, incidents. And that will also include um, the management portal. Then our next app after that that we'll be working on will be our procedures and competency app. Um, it will include procedures and procedure competencies. And then after that, we'll start looking at SharePoint integration for document management. And our current, app, the new app will only support um, iOS and Android, but our current app, uh, there is no uh, timeline for us removing support for that app. So that one should be around for a while. Um, so for our new mobile app design, um, like I said, we're going to have the users log in using Azure AD which will also support uh, multi-factor authentication. Um, you'll be able to, the users will get a list of their training records, including some of their expired records. It'll allow the user to actually create their own training records. Um, users will they also take a picture of their, of their certificate and crop it and then add it to the training record, which will get submitted back to the system for a manager or a training person to approve. Um, It'll feature two-way sync of training records. Like I said before, it'll support Android and iOS. Um, there'll be background uploading and downloading for attachments, and it'll also have push notifications for alerts. So we're also changing the back end. It'll still interface with Dynamics. They'll just be using all the newer APIs and new SDK for Dynamics. Um, and they'll still live partially in Azure, We'll just be using um, Azure Functions instead of what we use today, and we'll be using Cosmos DB instead of SQL. <clears throat> so the other part, too, we'll be including is the API. <clears throat> so the API will be what our new app is using, but it'll also be something that you can leverage from your own app or your own system. If you have another system where your users are using daily and you want to include safety, this is your way to collect some field data. Um, so any questions so far before we get into the demo? If you have any uh, questions, feel free to um, um, type them into the chat or wait until the very end. So I'll just hand it over to Ryan. Thanks, Malik. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ryan. I'm the mobile developer for iTrack. Uh, today, we are excited to show you a glimpse of our new app. Um, with this app, we are aiming to elevate the ease and efficiency of delivering training to your employees. 
So this is a standalone app and is separate from our iTrack QHC app. Uh, let's take a look. All right, so with the new app, you would sign in using your Microsoft account. Typically, this would be the same as your normal work email. And upon successful, successful sign-in, you will see some of your user details. The three colored tiles are your navigation menus. You can move across them by tapping on them. Alternatively, you can use the swiping gesture. Let's take a closer look at the menus. Today shows you the training items that you need to complete. These items are typically created in Dynamics 365. And the items show you whether they're for a certification or whether they're overdue. Users will also be able to search through the items. This is pretty handy when you have a large number of items on the list. Tapping on an item allows the user to see more details. They will also be able to view the related training resource. And as part of our future roadmap, we're planning on adding the ability to write exams prior to completion. Next up is certificates. This menu shows users the certificates that they have achieved. It allows them to keep the certificates in their device, even when offline. They can tap on an individual item for more details. Additionally, they can tap on the attachment preview for a better view of their certificates. You can also add certificates that you have achieved that aren't on the list. For example, I have finished my Working at Heights course. After filling in the details and uploading the relevant certificate, this new certificate will be sent to iTrack immediately for your manager or training administrator to review. And finally, alerts. Any alerts or news that you want your employees to see on the training app will appear here. We are planning on adding push notifications and those notifications will be available here as well. Users can get helpful alerts for certain metrics such as having over a dozen overdue training or recertifications nearing their due dates. And that wraps up our demo. So in summary, the training app is a new tool for companies to make training easier reduce paper burden, make certifications faster and more compliant, and open up training for more people. We hope you like what you saw. We plan on having phase one of the app available for beta soon. Thank you. Um, so any questions? Melek, it's, it's uh, Melek and Ryan, it's Trev here. Um, just in terms of, uh, you know, how we're going about, you know, building new mobile apps like the training app. Do you want to speak a little bit for the people on the call, what this represents in terms of, you know, um, you know, kind of the mobile roadmap and uh, where we're going with other mobile apps and even the, the API we talked about in the opening session? Um, right. So this, so our, our current app um, is just one app, and it kind of and it has contains everything. So where we're going is try to break it down to be kind of more role based and more simpler. So the user would open the app, do what they need to do with just that one app, with a simpler interface, with less menus, less less places to kind of go, um, less details to worry about, and then they can just close that app and open up the other app that they need. So if they need to collect some field data, they'd open up the forms app enter in their incident form or their inspection or whatever they're doing in the field, collect the data, close that app, open up the training app for the training. So more, more role-based. Um, 
The other part too is our old UI is starting to get a little dated. This one we're using, um, the, the UI will be a lot cleaner and easier to use and um, simpler. So we're hoping with these new apps, the learning curve will be a lot smaller. So users will have to use the app um, quicker, with less training. And with our and we and with our apps, we know that users don't use them daily. So the simpler we make it, the better. Because if it, if a user is only using it, you know, once a year or once a month to collect data, we don't want to have to have them relearn the app each time they open it. Malik, it looks like uh, Michelle would like to go back to the roadmap again. Sure. So if you go to the chat window, you can see um, there is a rate the session as well as a link to the full conference schedule. Where you'll also be able to get the links to access the next Teams meeting. The next session is at 145 and that would be the new iTrack workflow engine. Or there's another one that begins at 145, the partner connection with Chemscape and iTrack 365. We encourage you to attend. Thank you all for attending.